the upper part of my blouse to be a wrap top so i have my back body drafted it's just a normal back body drafting the neck width is um the neck width is around okay so i want mine to be like a wrap top on the half length area upper part so i have my back body drafted already it's just a normal back body drafting this is my hand hole. the neckline i use is three inches by one inch it has a zipper allowance of one inch here at the back so i'm going to use this back to draft the front and the length that i'm working with is 18 inches including slim allowance that's my half length so to fold my front it's a wrap dress and it's going to be completely wrapped on the waist area so i need the measurements of my waist which is 11 inches so you're going to multiply that by two remember it's going to be wrapping so 11 multiplied by 2 is going to give me 22 inches that is the amount of fabric that i need to fold for my front so i have folded my fabric here like i said you need 22 inches so i'm just going to place my tape now and measure how 22 inches and once i have 22 inches i'll simply place it on fold at that point and then i'm going to lay it down so after laying it down like this you simply bring one of your main bodies and then place it so that you can use that to shape this okay so i'm placing it like this the side remains the same this is the side it's going to be the same let me use the right side so that we can see what i'm doing better so the right remains the same we're only going to modify the center fold so i'm just going to hold this together with a pin so what i'm going to do first is to just shape my side okay i'm cutting the side i'm going to cut out my arm hole as well and my shoulder so after cutting the arm hole i'm going to go ahead and cut out my shoulder so i'll just leave it as it is like that so this is my center fold you can see where the fold point here and this is my now i'm going to measure 11 inches from the center fold remember 11 inches is from the center to the side so here i'm just checking to make sure that i have up to 11. so i don't have up to 11 inches but i'm just going to have to manage it like that which is why you need to pin your fabric so that it doesn't shift so i have like a shortage of half an inch there about there so now what i'm going to do on my center fold you mark how deep you want your neckline to be so i've already gone up by one inch for the back so i want the neck depth to be around seven to seven and a half inches so i'm going to mark that on this center fold and then on the waist area here on the side i'm going to come up by three inches here on the side so what i'm going to do now is to connect from my neck point here to my neck depth in front and then to the overlap so i'll just lift this up a bit so i'm just going to note this point then i'm going to lift my back panel up a bit and i'm going to make my connection so using my curved drill arm i'm going to connect from my neck to my to my center here for the neck depth and then from there i'm going to connect like this so i'm trying to just get a really nice curve so that it doesn't look awkward so you can see i am adjusting my ruler to give me something really nice so you just blend it where you feel it is necessary so once you cut it like that i'll come in with my scissors and then cut out exactly what i have there so the main focus of the tutorial is on the lower part so as i'm just going through this upper part quickly okay so this is what we have for the upper part and you just go ahead to use your bias or your cut facing for the necklines you turn it out and then you join the side so this is what it looks like you can also notch the midpoint as well but it's not necessary okay once the sides matches like this and you can see our neck depth is just seven inches if you want yours to be more than this you can go ahead and make it more so i'm just going to go ahead and fold my neckline a bit just like this you can also use your 
buyers to do this i'll go to fold my neckline so that i can sew the front and back together so that is it for the upper bodies now we'll move to the lower part okay so now for the skirt part of this my full gown length is 40 inches i've used 18 inches for my half length so i'm left with 22 inches depending on how full you want this ruffles to be so the 22 inches that you have for the length of this skirt you can multiply that by two and that's going to give you 44 inches so instead of measuring out 22 inches as the length of your skirt you're simply going to measure out 44 inches i have about 41 inches here so i'm just going to make do with what i have but you can multiply yours by two or by one and a half depending on how full you want this to be you can even multiply by two and a half inches okay so i have folded my fabric into four i have both the front and back so like i said my fabric is folded into front into four front and back together and the width that i'm using to fold my fabric is my fullest measurement which is my hip so the hip is 46 divided by four is 11 and a half inches i'm going to add half an inch allowance to my bodies okay adding half an inch on fold means that you're adding two inches if you multiply it by four you can also add one inch because you need the ruffle to have room for to fold very well you don't want it to be too tight that's why i'm adding just half an inch because i still want it to be fitted so if you're adding one inch extra to use it means you're going to be having four inches extra to your body measurements by the time you are done so now my hip is 11 and a half i'm adding half inches for that half inch for that and that's 12 inches and then i'm going to add extra half an inch as my seam allowance okay i don't want my seam allowance to be too much because i don't want this to be bulky that's why i have 12 and a half inches there and then i'm going to be adding a zipper at the back okay it's not so free so i need the zipper to wear it and this fabric is not stretchy if you're working with a stretchy fabric you may not need to add zipper allowance to yours so i'm going to be adding so everything that i have folded here is around 13 inches and i'm going to be slashing the that line on the front as well so you're going to see how we're going to do all of that so that's what i used to fold my fabric so this is my waistline so i'm going to be starting from the waist on my waistline i'm going to take my waist measurement waist is 36 inches by by four is nine inches so here i'm marking my nine inches and then on that point i'm going to mark the half an inch for ease okay and then i'll mark another half an inch for my seam allowance so that's all i'm marking on my waistline so here from there i'm going to mark my hip line my hip line actually is nine inches but because of the ruffles it's going to shift up so i'm going to be adding extra four inches to that four to five inches is fine so i'm going to mark my hip line on on 14 inches even okay so on that 14 inches i'm going to make it into a straight line and then take my round hip measurement my hip is 46 like i mentioned divided by 4 is 11 so i'll mark 11 inches here okay and then i'm going to add half an inch for ease so this is my half an inch for ease i want to make mark it one at the other so that i want to understand i want us to understand these allowances that i'm adding that's why i'm adding them like this so that we we'll know why we're adding it this is my actual measurement i'm adding half an inch for ease okay so after that i'm going to add another half an inch as my seam allowance like i said i don't want the seam allowance to be too much and then for my zipper i'm adding you can add one inch or half an inch as well but i'm just adding 0.75 and that is the measurement that i'm going to take all the way to the hem if you want yours to be pencil you can take away one inch from this measurement so i have about 12.75 here so you can take one inch from it and then connect on your hemline but this is what i'll be working with so now i'm going to connect my waist to hip so i've connected my waist to my hip and then from the hip i just connected this straight down so now i'm going to cut it out and then i'm going to show us how we are going to slash open the front for the front you may decide not to slash your side open but i prefer to slash it open so that i will know it will be easier for me to know the lines when i want to make my ruffles so i've cut out the skirt and this is where it looks like so for the back i'm going to slash it at the midpoint for my zipper and then for the front we are going to be slashing it on this side that was why i added 
the same allowance for front and back okay remember there is no zipper in front so you don't need a zipper allowance for your front but because i'm still going to slash it on the side and i need to sew it back that was why i added the allowance to the front as well so this is me slashing my center back for zipper and then for the front i'm going to fold this and then note where my center front is okay which is here so you need to choose the side where you want your ruffles to be placed so i want my ruffles to be placed on the left side which is this side okay so now i simply fold my on the left side on the right side of your fabric remember this is the right side of your fabric so this is going to be my left side which is why i am folding like this okay so now from my center front which is here you're going to mark your where you normally place your dart okay for me that is my bust pan measurement which is here 8 divided by 4 is 8 divided, 8 divided by 2 is 4 sorry so half one inches here but because i'm still going to sew it together i'm going to mark the allowance that i left for sewing i left about 0.75 the same thing i left for the for the zipper so I'm going to mark that and that is where I'm going to connect straight okay so I'll check what I have there and that's about 4.75 so from my center front I'm going to mark the 4.75 all round and then I'm going to make it into a straight line I hope you understand what I'm trying to just watch it carefully and you understand what I'm trying to do so like I said this step is actually not compulsory but you can simply just mark it straight like this and that's going to guide you but i just prefer to sew it so that when i want to add my elastic to it i just know that i'm adding my elastic to the sewn part so that is totally up to you you don't have to cut through yours just like i'm doing to mine so now i am cutting through mine like this and i'm going to go and sew it back okay so that is all the cutting we need to do so for the skirt i'm going to sew my my side front together like this where i want to place my ruffle on the side i'm going to sew it together by the allowance that i left and then i'm going to tentatively sew the zipper allowance for the back as well then i'll come back and place my front and back on each other after placing the front and back on each other, I'm going to sew it by half an inch that I left. So I'll go ahead and do all of this now. So I have gone ahead to join this together. You can see this is the front. I joined it by 0.75 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce this allowance. Okay. Remember I had 0.75 for my zipper allowance. So that was why I joined by. And then for the back, I joined the zipper allowance with the 0.75 as well. So my zipper is just going to be around around five to seven inches from my waistline this is so that you can wear this dress easily like i said if your fabric is stretchy you don't need to do this so from here now i'll reduce the zipper allowance as well to 0 0.5 0 0.5 inches because i don't want it to be packing okay so this fabric is not stretchy at all it's a satin fabric as you can see so you you need to hide those allowance for you to be able to wear this dress so that's it for the back for the skirt and then for the upper part you can see i have gone ahead to hem it on the neckline so this is my back neckline i just folded it in place you can use a bias for yours okay so i just folded mine and this is what i have so i'll go ahead and iron all of them this is the front the overlap area i folded it as well so that i can have something neat on my front part as well so this is my other front and this is the other back so for the back what i'm going to do is to place the front on each other so for the front i'm just going to place the front on each other like this you can hold it with a stitch and then i'm going to lay the back on it and i'm going to sew the shoulder together and then i'm going to join it on the side as well so that is it for my front so now back to the skirt we want to create our ruffles to do that i'm going to be working with this elastic the elastic is about half an inch or quarter of an inch okay 
so it's almost half an inch that's what i'm going to be using remember we increase the length of our skirt so now to get our actual length back remember our actual length is 22 and we multiply that by two so i'll measure this 22 inches on this elastic if you want it to it's going to still draw so you can also reduce by one inch so i will leave it at 21 inches and then i'm going to cut four of that remember we're going to be rushing it on the front here on the side of the front the two sides seam and then we're going to do that at the back as well so i will need four of this so i'll just go ahead and cut four 21 inches elastic okay so i've cut it out now i'm just going to illustrate what i'm going to do so now i'm going to note the midpoints of this okay the midpoint is necessary it's just for it to guide you on how to sew okay so i'm noting my midpoints and then i'm going to note the midpoints on my elastic as well i just want it to be evenly distributed so now i'll mark place the midpoints on each other and then i'm going to pin it down so after pinning it down, what you want to do is to take one end like this and then you drag it to the starting point here. You can see how it's going to gather everything for you. So now you go ahead and sew this elastic very close to your seam line here. If you can sew on your seam line exactly, you should. But if you can't, just sew very close. So from here now, I'll just take it to my sewing machine, drag my elastic and then I'm going to sew on it on both sides. So this is the same thing you're going to do for the other part so for the center for the center back here remember you have to mark out your zipper the space where you're going to put your zipper so here i'm placing mine on seven inches including allowance remember you're going to use half an inch to sew back so i have around six and a half inches left to place my zipper so now the elastic that i'm going to be placing to this back i'm going to reduce it by around two inches or there but two or three inches so that my back is not going to be longer than the rest of them remember this part is not going to be rushed we are not going to be adding elastic to this part where we're putting our zipper so i'll go ahead and do all of this now and bring you back to show us so i've gone ahead to draw my first rush you can see i just noted the midpoint just like i explained and you drag it to one hand and so and you drag to the other hand and so as well just to gather everything together and i forgot to mention that i have also hemmed my skirt if you have not hemmed your skirt you need to leave allowance to hem it so your your elastic is not going to reach the end point on the half length area as well you can leave like half an inch to sew it to your upper half length or you can just leave it like this just like me so i'm just going to sew it with half an inch on this point so this is what i have after gathering it with my elastic and then turning it to the right side now you can see that this part that we have sewn has these ruffles already so i'll go ahead and put the elastic on the three parts that is left and then i'll bring it back to show us what it looks like so i have gathered them all now i can see what we have so my fabric is a very stiff satin it's like mikado so you can use a softer fabric like duchess so that it can form your drapes very well so this is for the side that we have in front this is the first side this is the second side and this is the back okay so now for the back remember i said you need to leave like six inches for your zipper so this is what the skirt is looking like now I have sewn my blouse as well and this is the blouse so you make sure that the measurement that you have on the waistline of your blouse is the same as what you have on the skirt so what I'm going to do now is to just go ahead and join the upper part to the lower part on the waistline I have added the half length to the skirt now and the next thing you need to do is just to sew your zipper to the back and then you had a sleeve of your choice so i'll go ahead and fix my zipper on the back and then i'm going to just place a basic sleeve on this then take it to the mannequin so that we can see what it looks like <laughs> 